Budget forecast, Labour's proposed tax increases expected to hit Middle Britain. This week's anticipated budget, led by Labour's Rachel Reeves, has sparked significant debate as projections reveal potential tax increases that could reach up to £40 billion, affecting millions of Britons. The measures are expected to primarily impact employers, investors, and middle-income earners, fueling concerns over the long-term implications for the country's economy and for working families. Labour's expected tax changes, £20 billion national insurance hike. Central to Labour's budget proposal is a substantial increase in national insurance contributions, with businesses set to shoulder an estimated £20 billion in additional costs. On top of this, analysts expect hikes in capital gains and inheritance taxes, potentially reducing the value of assets for middle-income earners, as well as an extended freeze on income tax thresholds, which would push more earners into higher tax brackets as wages rise with inflation. Former Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng voiced concern over the effects of these increases on the Middle Britain, warning in his column for the Mail on Sunday that Wednesday's budget will raise taxes across the board. He noted that Labour's new tax strategy could mark a return to what he described as class war, a sentiment echoed by some Labour MPs who fear that these measures could backfire at the polls. Opposition to increased taxes, impacts on wealth creation. Kwarteng, known for his pro-growth stance, cautioned that Labour's tax strategy could stifle the UK's culture of innovation and economic resilience. Describing it as a move to wage war on wealth creation, he argued that Labour's approach might reduce incentives for investors and entrepreneurs, ultimately hindering job creation and economic growth. Raising taxes on employers, with national insurance increases, is essentially a tax on jobs, he argued, warning that this could impede growth and lead to an economic stagnation cycle. Another source of criticism is Labour's expected VAT charge on private school fees, which could lead to higher educational costs for families. The taxation of smaller landlords, often retirees with limited property investments, is also raising concerns, with courting suggesting that these measures blur the line between large-scale investors and ordinary individuals trying to secure a modest income. Courting's doom loop warning, risks of stagnation, Courting drew attention to a potential doom loop, whereby Labour's tax strategy could fail to generate sufficient economic growth, leading to a repeated cycle of tax hikes to fund welfare and public spending. He explained that anemic growth would create a shortfall in tax revenues, forcing the government to consider further increases to sustain the welfare state and public employment. This stagnation, he argued, could create a cycle of increasing taxes and spending without the growth needed to sustain it. More tax, more spend, and poor growth, Quarting warned, calling this a serious risk for the UK's economy over the coming years. He emphasised that without growth, the government will simply be forced to increase taxes again. Potential consequences for the UK's economic future For middle-income earners, small investors, and business owners, the prospect of four years of Labour-led budgets is increasingly concerning. The proposed tax rises could limit disposable income and make it harder for individuals and businesses alike to reinvest in the economy. Courting warned that, if unchecked, Labour's tax and spend policies could shatter the hopes of working people by reducing incentives for investment and economic ambition. As Labour prepares to deliver its budget, Courting's critiques reflect broader worries about the long-term impacts of increased taxes on Britain's economy. For now, the anticipated changes suggest a reconfiguration of the economic landscape, one that places a heavier burden on middle-income earners and businesses, with lasting consequences for growth, employment, and personal wealth.